Hey everybody, how we doing today? So in today's video, I am going to show you how to replace the Hobie Adventure Island Outrigger bungee hold downs. Okay, now there are two different versions. There's a single bungee, which the older models have, and then there's a dual bungee, which the newer ones have transitioned to. Um, this one will be for just a single, but the actual steps in regards to removing and replacing will be similar. Um, a lot of it is, is looks like it should be easy, but actually it was very difficult. And I'm going to walk you through the things not to do just as much as how to do it. So check it out. Okay, so here is the broken bungee that I've got. I've also got one that is just uh, starting to wear through, so I figured I'll change them both out at the same time. But that is our starting point. Okay, so here is our equipment needs. Uh, I'm using a sharp nose pair of needle nose pliers, and that will be used to take these uh, holding caps off. You can also buy from Hobie the actual key that uh, undoes these caps, but uh, otherwise some needle nose will work fine. Uh, we're going to need a razor blade in order to cut the uh, bungee cord in a smooth fashion. I'm going to use some basic duct tape to wrap the bungee cord before I cut it so it doesn't get frayed ends. And then I went down to West Marine and just got some similar diameter bungee cord replacement. Uh, and we're good to go. Okay, let's start by removing the old bungee and the caps. Uh, as you look at them, you'll see there's two notches on either side. That's why we're going to use our nose of the needle nose pliers to fit into. And that's going to allow us to uh, create some force in order to remove those caps by just unwinding them just like you would a bolt. So once you've got those, then you just simply twist and it unscrews. Uh, you don't want to put a lot of pressure. These are soft plastic, so they'll mar very easily. And if you strip them out, then you're going to have problems. So make sure that you're engaged. Keep light pressure on it and then just slowly remove them. Once you get to a certain point, you'll feel them loosen up and then you could just remove them by hand. And there's our cap. And you can see how it's basically just a knot at the end of the bungee, pushes inside the cap there. And then the well itself is sealed so it doesn't have any leakage, but you have to keep the knot within the cap in order to uh, fully seat. But that's all there is to it. So we'll get the other one and then we'll start putting it back together again. Okay, let's start assembling our new bungee cord. Uh, what I've already done is I've wrapped the bungee cord with some duct tape, used a razor blade to give me a clean end in order to insert into these caps easier. So we can remove the old bungee cord toss those and we're going to insert both caps onto the bungee so you want to remember they have to go in opposite directions when they fit on here so basically you just get it in there twist it on and it should pop through there and then you want the other bun under the cap to go in the opposite direction and we could twist it on okay so they're going to go in like that so now that we've got that, here's a tip of what not to do. Uh, when you go and buy your bungee, make sure you get an extra length. The reason why is that once we install the knot in line, okay, you need to have a full hand grip of slack line okay, in order to be able to really put some tension on that knot in order for it to get small enough to fit inside the cap as well as to roll the knot back and forth in order, in order to decrease the diameter. So you have to take that in compensation. Both sides have to have a grip full. You'll have your normal length of the actual bungee, and then you're going to need another grip full on the opposite side. So I roughly got uh, five foot of bungee cord in order to do two eight inch sections. So uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so let's start by putting our overhand knot into one side, remembering to give yourself enough slack so that you could pull on it to reduce this knot. This stuff doesn't knot very easily, so you really have to put some pressure on it. And just by pulling on both sides does not reduce the knot size. What you have to do is roll that knot forward and pull on the knot backwards and just constantly just keep working it until it gets smaller and smaller 
in order to fit inside that cap. So you can see why that extra leverage slack is so important. All right, and then we could test it by running our cap and making it sure it fits inside, which it does. Because you have to remember, you have a blocked off uh, end there, so you need to have it somewhat flush to the cap in order for it to fit. But there we go, so that cap is done. Now I'm going to trim it fairly smooth. And here's your other what not to do. Don't use a lighter to cut the fray, the, uh, the ends up. There's no need for it. And what it does is that heat will melt the inner rubber cores and they'll just end up breaking and getting brittle. So put no heat towards this. Just use a razor blade, cut it smoothly, and you're done with it. Now to get the length, we're basically just going to eyeball it. So we're just going to hold up our new one versus a, an existing one. Hopefully all four of yours didn't break at the same time. And then just kind of roughly place them in the same position. They both sit flush to the plastic so you can kind of eyeball it. Then here's our third thing not to do is don't make it exactly the same curvature and uh, length. Uh, because once you start tightening down the knots, uh, the bungee is going to start stretching. And I imagine as soon as you start using it, it's going to stretch some more. So I would go to probably around at least a half an inch shorter in height versus the old one because you figure this one's been used for quite a while, so it's already stretched. Plus, this is going to stretch when you knot it, so at least probably a half inch to maybe almost an inch initially and then this is going to stretch once we uh, complete the knot and then once we start using it again so there we go okay so now that i know where roughly i want that knot to be so it needs to butt up against the cap right about there i can move it across these have little lines in there so i know what segment i need that knot to finish at so i'm just gonna keep my finger there do my overhand knot to get it started Then run the knot keep an eye on where that spot was where I've got my thumb I'm just gonna keep tightening it okay so we have basically our end point where we want it about there and then we're just going to have to go through the same processes of tightening it down. I'm going to take one little look there. About right. And then I can go through and start our tightening again. Line it up there. See where we're at. Just right. So we've got right about a half an inch smaller radius than the uh, older one. And I think we're good to go. So I'm going to just... Pull this off, cut it, and then we're ready to reassemble. All right, so there's our completed bungee assembly. Now we just need to install it. Uh, the key here is go ahead and just start one. Before you do that, twist one, both of the caps and see if you have one that spins better than the other because what's gonna happen is the first one, you could put all the way in just by itself and it rotates. But when you tighten down the second side, the bungee has to stay in its spot and then the the cap needs to spin around it in order for it to go down without twisting the bungee up. So it's easier if you identify if there is one that's easier. So I'm going to just install this one first. Let the bungee twist if it wants to. Get that one fully installed and then come back to the second side. And then it takes a little bit more work in order to get it to go on smoothly. But just take your time. Okay, we've got our bungee installed there. It's got a little bit of twist to it, but uh, that'll straighten out as I use it. But uh, I'll sit there, so I'll test it out with one of my uh, outriggers there. All right, try it out and just see if it locks up. Boom. And it keeps it firmly in plant, so good to go. Okay, so that is how to repair the Hobie Adventure Island outrigger bungee cord. So we're good to go. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.